what are some of the misconceptions that homeowners have about the process of working with you? Do they have these wild expectations or is it just managing expectations from up front? All about expectation setting. And I'm pretty direct. Construction is messy, you guys, especially if we're going to be painting stuff everywhere. You know, I prefer an unoccupied house. That's amazing for me, but it doesn't happen every time, you know? And so you have to contend with people who are living in it. They have young children. I'm just going to be real, real, right? Like this is going to be a mess. We are going to need to do a deep clean after we are done. And then also telling them too, you know, expectations with, you know, timelines. And and if something changes, then just being willing to, you know, to flex and to accommodate as needed. Have you ever done one of these renovations and the seller says, love it, going to stay? Sure has. Yes. That actually happened recently. And the realtor was very uh, graceful about it. And I'm like, you are going to hire me again. Like, <laughs> but, but yes, it has happened. Most often they stick with it, but it is emotionally charged, especially for the people who've been living there. Maybe they raised their kids there and their kids are gone now and, and those type things. But yes, it has happened, Brooke. Yeah. That's, 